Uh, good day, everyone. Uh, today, we will be discussing or we'll be learning about uh, creation of an MVC web API project from scratch. And also, we'll be uh, introducing the dependency injection. So I already created a new pro web API project. But if you don't know how to create that, uh, go to File menu, then create a new project. Then under uh, C Sharp Windows Web, um, find the template ASP.NET Core Web API. Then click Next, Next, then name your project. Then after you created that, um, it would uh, show you a new project and the configuration is already set up for us or being made and prepared for us. So there's nothing to worry about at the configuration. So what we, we will be doing is to create the web API endpoint. So by creating a new controller, let us create a new controller, add then controller. So just use the MVC controller empty and then I, I can name it as tutorial controller. Then as you can see, it's now um, being prepared for us. It is already ex extending the um, MVC controller that for that for that net core so what we can do is uh, let us remove the initial method here so that we can understand it uh, from scratch so let us create our own public i action results then um let us name it as hello Then uh, it should res return this one. This, that, okay. It is um, an HTTP result, um, okay, which is HTTP 200. Then let us return a, a string. But um, I, I action result can return any kind of object. Okay, um, I'll be teaching you also how to use a route annotation. So let us use the route. Then we will name our endpoint as API slash tutorial. And then we will also add Annotation also in our newly created method. So route, then we'll name this as hello. So, and also we will be using the method HTTP get. So any, any method you want to use, is either is it post, put, delete, attach, it depends on your uh, requirements. So let us run the program or run the web application. And let us test this now. OK, let us paste here the route. And then the method hello. And now, as you can see, it is now returning the string that we specified on the HTTP response. We, you can also uh, try to like return a JSON, a JSON object like new, then a greet like this greet. Hello. And 
And then uh, let us start the web application. Then call the method, the web API method. As you can see, it's now showing you uh, a JSON string result. So um, that, that is pretty easy to implement. Nothing to configure in the startup. So everything were uh, being prepared for us by the template. And uh, you can create any method that you want here. So um, the next thing that we will be discussing is uh, how to dependency inject injection. So um, dependency injection is being done in the startup. We will register our service here. So before that, I'll create a new class, or maybe a new folder for the services. So, okay. I, sorry, let us rename this as services. Then we will create a, a pair of file here, a, a class and an interface. So let us create first the, inter, the class. So tutorial service. Let us add it now. And then we will create a new method like public um, like string hello so we will implement the hello method here then return the string hello guest guest then uh, after that, we create a new um, interface. Oh, sorry. Create new item, then interface. So we will name it as um, I tutorial. Tutorial service. Okay, here. And make this as public. Mm -hmm. and then uh, we will extend it here. The interface that we created. Extend it now. And then copy this method here. And then add this as uh, an abstraction of that implementation. So um, I think that's all for these files that we will be injecting. And then um, how to inject? So let, let us open the startup uh, class and use the add scope property or method add scope then um, use the the two files here i tutorial tutorial service and the uh, implementation there the following parameter also there's an error we need to import the classes in the, the class and the interface so they are now being injected now well, it, uh, uh, the proper way of uh, how to implement the dependency injection so um, how, would, how to utilize that, how to call that? So within the tutorial controller, we will be 
injecting it in the constructor of the controller so probably create the constructor of that then dependency inject it here go to the controller and then add that in the parameter your tutorial service Then we will create a local variable here, like private. Um, tutorial service. The same declaration. You can make this as well with underscore to make it uh, read easy to read. So this that underscore equal to tutorial service then we can now use this variable here tutorial service that get or hello so that's it's too easy and then run again the Okay, let's wait then call the previously uh, executed now it's uh, showing you the result or response from the service so it's pretty easy to implement the dependency injection so um, let us comment this out and what and let's see what will happen and run this again it would surely show you an error see it is an unhandled exception it means uh, it is not being uh, added in the startup so let us restore it and then Let's see, it would restore the functionality. Okay, hello guest. And this is the output of the service that we created. I think that's all for today. And I hope you learned uh, this simple tutorial uh, from this uh, simple tutorial and I hope that you can uh, you would subscribe me subscribe my channel so that uh, I would bring you another or more lessons thank you so much and happy day